Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Nama Factory, GTC EU Hard Mode. Alright, so here we are today, episode 119, and I believe last episode I said I was going to be start working on the tier 9 Mega Miner? Yeah, and uh, I also was making sure that we are pretty much good to go in starting to make our Omnium, which we need to make the Catalyst which then goes together with this to make the Omnium. And we're going to need about 496 or something, 492. So I've been trying to make sure I have about, you know, 500 of everything here. But we will see what I need to do still to get everything good to go. Uh, something that I did off camera is I went ahead and added a enchanting system here. And this is mainly for making certain items uh upgrade here we go ah here we go so the up the speed upgrade this is for extra utilities too i should have left with that so extra utilities too has an enchanter and we need to use that to enchant certain items like the upgrade speed here um no not that uh here we go so we need to make enchanted ingots and that's gold lapis and gold and that's made the enchanter. So the enchanter has all kinds of recipes here. Um, I'm not sure what that is used for exactly, but uh, there's also infused evil iron that we're going to be needing for the, the highest tier. And then there's the enchanted apples, which are used for the second tier of upgrades. So basically what these upgrades are upgrades mean is, well, the first one we have an upgrade max of four. And then the next one is 16, and the last is 64. So I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna want to make these because our uh, resonator for extra utilities, the way that we make red coal, and um, oh gosh, what else was with the resonator? This little sh bad boy right here, yeah, like stone, lunar reactive dust. Yeah, coal, we covered that. Okay. And I guess the upgrade base too. But yeah, so I made this and uh, haven't uh, haven't automated it yet, but we're going to get to this soon. Meanwhile, um, okay, so let's get to making tier 9 stuff. So what do we still need? We need... So we need Draconic Reactor... Reactor Corp and Reactor Stabilizer and the Universal Navigator. Okay, writing that down so I don't forget. Okay, so Navigator. This one shouldn't be that crazy to make. It's going to come down to wet wear, wet wear mainframes, newer processing units, and the Naquida alloy plates. Now, is there going to be any barrier to crafting this right now? No. Looks like we're good. Okay, so I think the stabilizer is the next one we'll go with. That's simply simply not too crazy. Oh. Oh. Big uh oh. Radio. So we're gonna have to get draconic injectors of the chaotic tier. This suddenly makes sense to me why my math was so wrong. In trying to figure out how many tier eights and tier sevens I needed, because we are gonna need ten injectors of the chaotic type, and they require four chaos shards each. So that's forty shards, and so we need also yeah ten more guardian data, which means we need ten more tier sevens. So that is adding up now. Okay, so let's then transition to the injector system. Okay, so a neutronium. I'm sure that was the requirement before in the previous versions. I'm just being thrown off because the texture is different. Um, okay, so let's see. Shard, we should just be able to ask for 36. Oh, dear. What is it missing? What's the other thing that we need? Is it just, is it just a matter of not having the bytes? 
Oh, wait a minute. Luminescence? Let's see here. I think this is the one. I may not have scaled it properly. Or I may not have scaled it to the right number. I mean, that's quick enough that I'm not too concerned about speed. Although... It is a mixer. So we could do a parallelization, but then we need to worry about having... Wait, how much phosphoric acid do we have? Yeah... We either need to upgrade my phosphoric acid game or figure out something else. Okay. Um... Luminescence. So, how much did we need again? Fifty more. <laughs> so let me do this. I'm gonna make a craft once this gets. There we go. So I'm going to do this craft, and I'm probably going to have to come back after a pause when this finishes crafting, and then we'll go from there. Um, the, before I go, we could probably set this up in an in a auto craft pattern. Okay, so... Check. Let's remind myself, we don't really have... We don't have two patterns, we only have the one here. So... Over here, load, save, load. Uh, I hate how it does this. Okay, let me just borrow. And I can't use that right now. Do I have any spare injectors? <sighs> okay, I'm just going to do this real quick. I don't want to wait. So I'm going to get rid of that, and then do that, and put, get rid of that, damn it, there we go, ordered, save, there we go, and then turn that off, okay, okay, so that should be good, oh, and I realized I pulled that out of there too quick, or not too quick, but um, by mistake, although it doesn't seem to be bothering this much. Okay, um... Can't craft that. Oh. Okay. Let me get... Matrix. Actually, you know what? There we go. Okay, so let's get the chaotic. All right. Oh. There we go. So that's probably going to take some time to craft too because it's going to have to go through the injector process. Make an uh, injector. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to pause. And I'll come back when this injector is done and when we have the shards done. All right, so it's probably going to take a bit. So I will see you shortly. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I don't know how much time passed really. I got sidetracked with some things, but we should have the chaos shards now that we need. And we should also have the one injector. So now we have this package with, with four chaos shards in there, right? So now we have 10 essentially. Um, so what we need to do now, let's get rid of all this. Put that in there, and bada boom. Now let's just, too far. Let's pop over down here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so let's, first let's go back up to the base and I need to charge up my battery. So let me pop that in there while I take care of some other things. Okay, so pop that there. And we should be able to just say, well, first we need to make one of these. Right, because we're going to need to replace our injectors one by one. And 
and it only needs oh it needs 10 and it needs okay it needs 10 blocks so we basically will hit chaotic drop it down chaotic drop it down and yeah it's eating a lot of power how much does that mean 30 billion okay so yeah i might have to do another pause to craft all these up meanwhile um i don't think i exactly covered a certain topic wrong room okay so here we are in the ore processing room now i did kind of revamp this whole system you can see that's powered down but it's intended oh and i i mm, mm. i'll need to remove these and put them in my ae2 room for the loot but essentially what's going on here is i have this main drawer here or crate that will f i'll feed it ore and then it will partition it into the macerator and send it all around now the other thing is i made this thermal centrifuge mainly for redstone because i needed to get a lot of glowstone right and glowstone can be made from thermal centrifuging cinnabar or redstone and redstone have sh a shit ton of so i kind of hard coded this centrifuge to take all of the centrifuge reds or all of the redstone and centrifuge so yeah there's that okay um so there's our first injector okay let's go back to the injector i should have it yeah there it is okay bada boom okay so oh. Okay, so if I, that was a weird place to go back to. All right, so if I take my injector, put it back in, and request a new one. Wait, why is it? Is it, is it trying to, okay, it has that one. I try and cash. Oh, shit. Wait, no. The shards are in there. So what is it trying to make exactly? Hold on, let me try let me fix something here. Injector? Yeah, we have that there. What exactly is it? Crafting. The neutronium. Oh, the matrix blocks, I guess. Sure, I guess that makes sense. Okay, well, I'll have to come back for that. Otherwise, um, I did off camera before I record today's episode, I did make some lutetium here. And again, lutetium is just made with silicon and lanthanum 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 and it actually made it pretty quick which is great so we should have everything that we pretty much will need to make the exotics um you know what why not let's go down to the uh this room here so we're gonna need the elite table for that I don't think this is making anything right now, so let's go ahead and pop this off. It's up there. Okay. So bing bada boom. Make sure that's on elite first. Wrong button. Okay. Save. And then we're pretty sure we're gonna need the elite uh the ultimate. Yeah, okay. So that's saved. And then the ultimate. Take the uh take that and take that. Okay, there we go. Save. Okay. So let's do a little testy. Oh, did I put the huh? Oh, you know what? I think 
Yeah, I'm draining power with my crafting. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, since that's taking a little bit of time, and I can't check the recipe crafting chain on the Omnium, so I'll come back. You know what? I'll come back once I've completed crafting all of the injectors. And we'll go from there, I suppose. All right, uh, back in a bit again. Hey, everybody. All right, we are back, and it's been some time since I went AFK. So as you can see now, we have all of our injectors set to chaotic. And now we can start working on, I think it was a reactor stabilizer. Oh, it's a frame. Um, boop, 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 there it is. Okay, so let's get going on that frame first. Okay, so reactor stabilizer. That's going to be... Oh, plating. I don't think we've done... Oh, wait, wait. We should have done this. Oh, we don't. Oh, mm. Crap. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we could go with this. Yeah, 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 okay, we're fine. We have enough redstone as it is, so I'm not, I guess, too concerned about this, but damn, that's going to be costly. Can we do anything with this? I guess we can solidify it. What I could do is I could set up an LCR and pass the redstone into a solidifier. And at least get redstone back that way. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's just get this pattern. We're going to need to do this too. Let's get rid of that. Gear. Okay. And. There. So, yeah, the plating. Uh, DU plating, advanced plating. Do we have alloy? Okay, we have that at least. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get an L an LCR. Then I'm gonna get a solidifier. Already have that good. Okay. Wait, what? What? Oh, rock breakers. Okay. I was like, what was that block? Why did I have so many of it? Uh. Okay, this shouldn't take too much time. All right, but now I gotta figure out where to put this baby. Uh, I could easily just put it over uh where my other big boy machines are on the first floor of the floor we're on. Um. But I also could put it down where I've done all the other machines as of late. Is that? Yeah, okay, that's the LCR. I guess that is good that I have the uh, four amp hatch because I was going to make that anyway. Okay. Um, I got to fill up my uh, teleporter soon because it's running out of fuel. Not that it's a big deal. Uh, hmm. Oh, maybe here? I mean, may as well. Okay, so we'll do. Let's see what I. Chaos hat. I mean, chaos hatch. Uh, automatic hatch, and uh, do, do, do. that goes there, and then the rest. Uh, let me get rid of something first. Get rid of that. Okay. 
wrong terminal. Automatic build. All right, what's missing? For some reason, and won't place every block sometimes. All right. So let's get, let's get these moved, and we'll put that there. I'll put hatch. We don't need an input hatch, I don't believe. Oh, we need for sulfur. Yeah, okay. Okay, that should be good. Oh, yeah, we need to put the roof back on. Oops. And we do need... What do we need again? Do -do. That's not or right. So item in, fluid in, item out. Okay, we do need the output bus and input bus. So we'll go medium voltage. Why not? Not that it's a big deal or anything. Okay, so that's there and there. Is that the output? Yeah, and that's the input. Good, so do input on that, output on that. All right, so let's get two interfaces each. Item, fluid, fluid, item, and rotate. rotate. Oh, that's fine there. That's fine there. Okay. So for the inputs, it was sulfuric acid, right? Yeah, sulfuric acid. And we should just be able to pipe this down here. There we go. Damn it. Okay. So there we go, there's sulfuric, and then we need the redstone or Okay. And it needs power, of course. Uh, conduit. And we need to rotate it. We don't need a circuit in there, do we? No. Oh, you know what? It's a fluid hatch, that's a problem. We need at least 19. Do, 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 output hatch. Oh, no, no, wait, hold on. I don't wanna fuck this up. Okay, so that goes there. There we go. No. There we go, okay. Um, that goes there, and we need to get a mold. Perfect. And we do, oh, we do need to get a energy. No, we need to get a one amp converter. Okay, well that hooks up. I'll move that back. Yeah, I'll put an interface here, and that should work. There's that. Okay, uh, problem. Okay. Now get that silenced okay and then conduit do it all right it's dirty but it works okay boom and boom okay so 
it looks like that's going to be a little bit rate limited by that solidifier. Not sure why we're having, are we having an ingot backup? Oh my God, we are. All right, I might need to get that bulk chiller up and running off camera then. Um, okay, what was a looking for? Oh yeah, the roto. So now we have the roto at least. But what I want to do is controller. Button, a wrong item slot. Better. Okay, so the roto, roto, we'll do 128 at first. Okay, so that's going to continue to make that roto item, and we don't need much of it. Let's go back and see if we can make what we need to make before we end off the episode here. Okay, missing something still. DU plating. Okay, that shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, I should be able to put it here, I think. Yeah, that should work. Okay, we can make the frame. Nice. So, okay, with that being crafted up now, now we need to worry about the focuses, the reactor, stabilizer, smaller items. Reactor stabilizer, okay. So the focus ring is going to be scenarium and crystal matrices. And, oh boy, the plutonium and the curium. I forgot about this. I don't think I'm making this presently because I don't think I... Oh, no, I am making this. Oh, no. I think we're fine there. Okay, um, let's get that. Hastiloy? Uh, hmm. I might have that. I might not. Scenarium. Sun. Yeah, we do have that. Uh, do I have the Hastiloy? Yeah, we do. We have... Okay, we do have means to craft it. Um... But before I do that, yeah. Okay. Uh, Reactor stabilizer. Okay. So the rotor assembly, we have more awakened draconium. Oh, we need more patterns. Wow, we're out. Okay. Oh, wait, I need to get the patterns first. Should probably update that. Okay, uh, reactor stabe. So we have, well, I don't know why I have that with me. Uh, yeah, we've got the housing. And then we need the motors, which again is, looks like, Crystal Matrix, Draconium, and Draconium Gear, and, oh. There we go. We're probably crafting something right now, so... Gonna have some problems with our power. Um, okay. Let me pause here, and I'll be right back. Alright, so we're back. And you can see here, we have the Reactor Stabilizer frame. So that's only a part of what we're going to be needing because I looked into this recipe here and the draconic energy cores are going to be a little bit involved. We have to make really only one extra thing here. Maybe this too. Oh, uh, the batteries. That, again, isn't a huge deal, but that's a few chains of crafting. Um, the energy modules here, we're going to need to make these. And we also, this also means that we're going to need to make these energy orb clusters. And yeah, that's a few, that's a few tiers worth of crafting. Lapatron, Lapatron dust. Oh, wow. Huh. Whew. Okay. 
So we got our work cut out for us coming up. So that's going to be a th whole thing. So um, I'm going to end the episode off here. And in the meantime, I'm going to probably get a bulk chiller crafted up for the ingot farm, the ingot cooler, this thing right here. Okay, what the hell? I guess it just backloaded into the system and never went back into our uh, cooler system. Away. All right, so that will get to working. I don't know if there's a way without using an export bus of me being able to send any hot item into here. But in any case, um, that's going to be it for now. I will see you guys next time. Ta-ta for now.